Hi, my name is Jess and I am a thriftaholic. Today is a What Sold Wednesday and my son wants to display his security blanket. So there you go. All right, so I sell on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and other platforms. And I'm just going to tell you I ship every other day. So this will be technically two days of sales. My sales have been booming on eBay. Now, before I used to sell like bread and butter, a lot of modern, um, that, that market is very oversaturated, especially like women's clothing. Uh, about six months ago, I really started restructuring what I want to sell on eBay and I shifted to vintage. I've always sold hard goods, but I'm strictly trying to do only vintage unless a modern piece can fetch me like $50. But I have seen an increase in my sales. I've also started doing promoted listings. It is an additional fee. You can choose your percentage based on the trending rate, but I will tell you almost everything that I've sold within the last 48 hours has been with promoted listings. Okay, let's go ahead and get started for what has sold over the last two days. And all of them but one have been eBay. My Poshmark has been very slow recently. But I'm uh, listing maybe two days a week with the holidays and just everything going on in our personal life. Um, I'm pretty busy. So, okay. The brand Quacker Factory is a women's clothing brand that is typically sold on QVC. And they are known for, um, it's like a more mature brand. They have a lot of bold um, prints and a lot of beading. And if I see them and they're pretty busy, I pick them up because they sell for me usually between $30 and $40. And this one, like no other, was a flamingo print, like tropical sweater, and it sold for $35. I believe I got it for $3, and I've had it for sale for probably two or three months, and I always have buyers pay for shipping. The next is a Champions Women's Hoodie. It is reverse weave, but it is a modern piece. Now, I will tell you Champions, if you can get it cheap enough, it does really well. Vintage Champions can do well also. But look up the style because it all depends. So this hoodie actually is no longer available new online, at least through eBay. The print, uh, it's like black, red, and some other color. Um, and I think that's why I was able to get $47 for it. The next is an audiobooks set. Now this is something I would not recommend thrifting. Somebody had donated tons of audiobooks to me and I listed them. It did take a long time to go through and make sure all the discs were clean and the sets were complete so I wouldn't recommend doing this but it was free and I was like you know what whatever. So the last set finally sold for a whole $11 which is probably the worst um, you know flip for those but whatever it's free. The next is a really cool tie-dye shirt by Sundog. Sundog is um, known for making the graphic tees for the Grateful Dead, which has like a cult following and really cool. I got this at the bins, so I paid less than a dollar, probably 75 cents if that. It was distressed um, in my title. I put distressed because it had a few holes like along the seams or whatever, but people really just don't care. As long as you disclose it, they don't care. Sold for $40. Now I will tell you, I've had this listed for probably nine months maybe not quite that long, um, but I got $40 for it. So the next item completely shocked me. Michael by Michael Kors. The resale value is not the greatest. I didn't think I found a purse locally for a whole dollar. And I think it was the snake print and style. It was like the, a tote. Um, and it did show wear like on the bottom corners and I could not get the handles super clean. I just cleaned the inside, made the inside look brand new and uh, sold it within I think 30, 45 days for $75 and this was on eBay as well. The next I got at the bins and I just, I can't believe these things sell. So I love picking up vintage Christmas, like it sells year round for me and for a decent profit. So I got these at the bins. They're less than a dollar. So I paid the, I paid about a dollar for these two, um, plastic candelabras. I think they're about 12 inches long and they had like, uh, orange little bulbs on them. And one of them actually did not work. I disclosed that. And I actually reached out to the buyer after they purchased them. And I said, Hey, and it says it in the title in the description, you just, people don't read. So I messaged the buyer and I said, Hey, I just want to verify that you read the description and you realized that one of them 
didn't work. I believe it's just a burnt out bulb, but they're being sold as is. She said, oh, I'm so glad that you pointed that out because I did not realize that. I just didn't read the description. And she, you know, was a very nice buyer. And she said, she asked if that was my bottom price. But obviously she's already purchased the item. And I said, yes, I priced it as is. So she went ahead and said, go ahead and send them. And out the door they went. The last item, or no, I guess I have a couple more. This celestial blanket I have had for sale for probably three weeks. It's really cool. It's vintage, of course. Love selling blankets. They do really well for me. I paid $5 for it and it sold for a whole $60. And then plus the shipping, which I usually make a couple bucks on shipping. Uh, that usually pays for like my packing material and the time that it takes me. And then the last item that I sold on eBay was this Love Fire vegan leather mini skirt. Leather or faux leather is huge this season, like the trench coats, just leather in general. It never really goes out of style, but it's really trending this season, which is winter 2020. And um, this skirt I actually bought for myself. Um, it was on sale at Nordstrom Rack for like $10 and I got it. And I don't know why I would think it would fit me. Um, I'm like a size 10 and this was a size 12. I don't know what I was thinking, whatever, but too big. So I went ahead and I listed it finally. Um, it's probably been for sale for about three months and somebody, I had it listed for 25 and somebody asked if I would sell it to them for 20 and, um, you know, whatever, it's fine. I need to move on from that. Plus it's a modern piece and I I don't like selling modern clothes. They just bore me. So that was the last item that sold for me on eBay. Now let's switch over to Mercari. I sold this vintage women's sweatshirt. It was like a Christmas theme with a kitty cat. Um, cats, any cat apparel in general does really well for me because myself as a cat owner, you know, we're just very passionate about our cats. So and it sold for $35 plus shipping and I paid $1.50 for it. And it was also plus size. If I haven't noted that, my plus size clothes do really well. So these are the items that have sold for me within the last two days. My eBay store is finally waking up after a few months of being really slow. But like I said, I'm hardly listing. So any money coming in is great for me. So I hope you guys are staying safe and have a fresh delicious day. Bye.